So, what's the first thing you're going to do with your Apple Glass after you buy it? And don't say watch poor internet videos. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. We haven't talked about Apple Glass in a while, so, you know, let's do that. And quickly, just to remind you, because I know it gets sort of confusing, we have to make sure we separate the two. The AR VR headset that we've been talking about, not the same thing. As we mentioned in the last episode, this VR headset is coming out at a special Apple event in January. The actual full-on more practical, I would argue, AR glasses, yeah, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for those. According to a new investor's note from Jeff Poo, he says that Luxshare will be one of the main suppliers for Apple through 2022 and 2024. The devices that Luxshare works on include Apple Watch Series 8, iPhone 14, the AR VR headset, but also, what do you know, Apple's upcoming AR glasses. Keep in mind though that the AR glasses, uh, they're gonna be a little watered down at first. These things will not be a standalone device. They will heavily, heavily rely on your iPhone and in some cases just simply act as a display for your iPhone. Which makes sense, right? I mean, that's what the Apple Watch was at first too and uh, look at where the Apple Watch is now. Did you know that the Apple Watch is the number one watch in the world, the most popular watch in the world? And I'm not just talking smartwatch, not just the most popular smartwatch, no, no. The most popular watch watch, period. The most interesting part of Pooh's <laughs> report is that he's signaling a release of 2024. Listen, I don't want to be that guy, but like, no, I don't, I do not believe, do not believe this. It's like when my dad told me he was going to come to my baseball games, didn't did not show up. We've been talking about the VR headset for how long? It's coming this year, just kidding. No, it's not. And now, at least the latest news is that we are hearing that the headset won't be in stores until near WWDC next year. So yeah, no, I do not believe that these AR glasses will be ready the very next year after the headset. Nope, not anymore. I will believe it when I see it. Speaking of something that's too good to be true, <laughs> how about a deal? Listen, everyone, you just never know what's going to happen tomorrow. One second, you're sitting on the toilet watching this show, and next thing you know, that's why this episode is sponsored by Policy Genius. Did you know that life insurance gets even more expensive as you age? This is something you should take care of now. Don't leave your family to pick up a mess that you leave behind by being unprepared. By going to policygenius.com, you can rate and compare personalized quotes from the top insurance companies to find the lowest price. And Policy Genius could save you up to 50%. They work for you, not the insurance companies. In fact, they've helped over 30 million people get covered. So go to policygenius.com FPT to get your free life insurance quotes and of course thanks to policy genius for sponsoring this episode of okay welcome back so last up for the day story numero lasto let's talk about the ipad but like the one that everyone can afford ipad regular it's 2022 and it still looks like not good this is so dated and Ugh. But it is the most popular iPad. Not because of features or like, you know, any of the good things. It's the most popular because money is hard. <laughs> For you, not me. Yikes. Okay, anyway, let's talk about a new one, a new iPad, because 9to5Mac just posted a new exclusive, detailing a new entry-level iPad that will ship with an A14 chip, 5G, and... USB-C. This year, Apple has been working on more significant upgrades for its cheaper iPad. Information seen by 9to5Mac reveals that the new 10th generation iPad, codenamed who cares, will feature a USB-C port instead of Lightning. This means that Apple is finally planning to bring USB-C to the entire iPad lineup as iPad Pro was updated with USB-C in 2018, iPad Air in 2020, and iPad Mini in 2021. But wait, because this is the part where it's uh, not boring. We have We've also heard from our sources that the new entry-level iPad will feature a retina display of the same resolution of the iPad Air's display. The current 9th generation iPad has a 10.2 inch LCD screen, so we can expect a slight screen increase from 10.5 inches or even 10.9 inches. Now, nowhere in here does it say it's going to be redesigned, it just says that it has the same resolution as the iPad Air. 
but that gives me hope. You know what? At this point, I would just be happy with them giving the base model iPad the design from the old iPad Air. Remember? Uh, this one. Like, at least laminate the display, my guy. Because uh, if we get a new one and it looks exactly the same again, I will burn this sh to the ground.